Hey guys, what is poppin' today? I'm gonna be showing you guys some DIY fall treats. Also, this is a collab with Live Love Laugh 1199. She has a great channel, you should definitely check it out. This is also a fall themed collab. Alright, so starting off, our first treat is going to be some DIY leaf-shaped Rice Krispie treats. These are so yummy. And first of all, you're going to be needing some marshmallows and obviously some Rice Krispies as they are Rice Krispie treats. So I'm starting off with some butter and I'm going to just be melting that in my little pot on low heat. And I'm just going ahead and taking my spatula, my favorite spatula. <laughs> Probably don't even care, but yeah. And now I'm going ahead and adding some marshmallows. And basically you're going to keep on melting it on low heat until it becomes like this. And it's all melted and liquidy. And now I'm going ahead and adding some food coloring so that it is a leaf color. And you can take red, orange, whatever you want. I wanted to do orange, but <laughs> it turned out being red because I'm horrible with my measurements. But it was a really very nice, you know, vibrant red. So it's okay. It goes. But uh, yeah, now I'm going ahead and adding some Rice Krispies and I'm going to be mixing that together like a awesome chef even though I'm nothing like a awesome chef. And I'm going ahead and mixing that together and it should look somewhat like this. It looks, it's very yummy. I, I just wanted to eat it at that point but I was just like, nope, I'm going to make some leaves. Okay, now before I start making my dumb leaves, do not judge me because I'm so bad at doing this type of stuff. Like, I was, so, if you can not already see, I'm so bad at making stuff like this. I cannot make leaves for my life or shape anything. So you can obviously use, like, you know, a cookie cutter for a leaf shape or, you know, whatever you want. But I'm just, I'm trying my best. It didn't work out. It looks horrible, I know, but I trust you. I know you guys can do way better than I can and try way harder. I just, I couldn't do it. As you see, I'm trying so hard, but I still don't. I'm just really bad at it, but it's okay. You guys can do better. You guys can obviously use a cookie cutter if you guys have the same problem as me, but I bet you guys can make so much better leaves than I can. Mine looks so bad. <laughs> I can't even tell you how bad it looked. So yeah, now the next treat is going to be some DIY Nutella s'mores. And what has Nutella can't be bad. Nothing can go wrong with Nutella. So first of all, I'm starting off with a marshmallow and taking a skewer and putting that into my marshmallow. I'm starting off with some Ritz crackers. I know you use graham crackers usually, but I decided to be invented to use Ritz crackers instead. And I'm going ahead and opening the favorite part of the whole treats. And I'm starting off with some Nutella. You got it right. You can also take chocolate if you don't like Nutella. Sorry, I don't agree with you. I think Nutella is the best, but... If you want, you can take chocolate too if you don't have Nutella or white chocolate. But Nutella is going to taste the best, I promise you. And I'm going ahead and I'm spreading that on top of my Ritz cracker. Or if you want, you can use a graham cracker and spread it on top of your graham cracker. And now I'm going ahead and after I'm done doing it with as many as crackers I needed to, I'm going ahead and roasting my marshmallow on my skewer. And now that it's nice and, you know, kind of burnt. <laughs> I'm going ahead and taking the other side of my cracker and I'm going to be putting that. I only did two s'mores because I was the only one eating all this stuff, sadly. But if you want to have it as a treat for like a party or something, it's great. The next, I guess, drink is this DIY apple cider drink. I decided to include a drink for you guys, you know, variety. So I'm starting off with some apple juice and I'm just going ahead and pouring that into my little cute jar. And now I'm going to be going ahead and adding some whipped cream. It's very basic, but it's a good taste. And adding some caramel drizzle, and I think this just tops it off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.